Hey, yo. Cover me for a minute. I gotta make a phone call. All right. Middle Eastern male, bald, mid 30s, 5'6, about 170. Gray double breasted suit, no tie. Yeah, and run this plate. It's a uh, Mexican tag. Baja California, Alpha, Alpha, Golf, 0209. Thanks. And plot thickens. Complainant Gail Bishop approached us concerned that her ex-boyfriend, Darwin Al-Hakim, was involved in terrorist activities. Suspect Al-Hakim was friends with a number of possible Muslim extremists, including Abdullah Bobby Habib, who disappeared soon after meeting Al-Hakim. The whereabouts of Habib and his family remain unknown. The suspect Al-Hakim completed a, a six-year sentence for federal and state weapons convictions at Lompoc Federal Penitentiary two months ago. He's currently on California state parole. While incarcerated at Lompoc, he associated with a group of known Islamic radicals. We observed suspect Al-Hakim from 0, 0930 to 1100 hours yesterday at a bus stop on Wilshire Boulevard. We executed the search warrant of suspect Al-Hakim's apartment this evening and photographed a number of Arabic writings. <sighs> Sir, I am confident once those writings are translated, we will gain valuable intel on suspects' activities. Special Agent Sirks. It's been a while. The whole team is really impressed with what you've done. So what do you think of the ceremony today? I pulled the GPS records on your cell phone. They put you within 200 yards of the federal building at 10 a.m. Pulled my GPS records. You're undercover, don't you? You can't be at that service. You really think I don't know that? Ray Fuller was my friend. And this friendship has put you at risk time and again. It dragged you out to the federal building when your cover had no business being there. His friendship with you prevented him from following proper procedure and taking due precautions. Precautions like what? Like what, putting a leash on me? Do you really think I would have gotten in as far as I have? If I had a case agent breathing down my neck every goddamn minute? Oh, well, you better get used to how that feels. Because I'm not going to make the same mistakes Fuller did. I plan on living to see the end of this. We're too close for any more mistakes. We both know that. So what do you 
want to see me for? Okay, I just want to start by apologizing for not telling you I was still married. Even though it's a name only, I promise you. I should have just told you the truth and then trusted that you would understand. Okay, I also want to apologize for not understanding that you need your privacy. I guess I was just a little paranoid before because I've been hurt real bad. And I know you're not that type of guy. I, I don't want to be that person that lets her past fuck up her future, you know? And that's what I was doing with you. I guess I'm just sorry for a lot of things. This is the part where you're supposed to accept my apology. You know, Gail, I really think you got the wrong idea. I mean, you have feelings for me, obviously, but I, I don't have the same feelings for you, and I never did. Wait, what, what are you talking about, Darwin? What am I talking about? Gail, the exception of a hooker. Inside my hotel lobby, you're the first woman to talk to me after being in prison for six years, all right? And just like that, you fucked me. What was I supposed to do, say no? What, so that's what this was to you? I don't believe you, Darwin. Come on, Gail, come on. Don't act like you didn't enjoy it, too. Listen. Get out! 